If you have a brother, a sister or a friend, then surely the two of you often had to share something in two even parts. Sharing a whole pizza, a circle, is a relatively easy task. But what happens when you have to share the last slice of a cake or the last slice of a pizza? Let's write A, B and C on the corners of the pizza slice, which we imagine to be a triangle. Each corner has a fancy name, a vertex, or vertices for more than one. Let's call this slice of pizza triangle ABC. We're going to need to divide it equally, but let's take it a step at a time. Let's draw a line from A to the middle of the opposite side D, creating the line AD. We call the line AD a median and define it as a line segment from one vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side bisecting it. By the definition we can understand that since we have three vertices in a triangle, there are also three medians in every triangle. So we can draw a line from C to the middle of the opposite side, AB, creating the median CE. And lastly, we draw a line from B to the middle of the opposite side, AC, creating the median BF. Since every new point, DEF, is the midpoint, we've each time made two equal line segments of an original segment, side of the triangle ABC. Each time we have two triangles, but are they equal? Or is there going to be a fight for the bigger slice? Let's prove it. We know that the area of a triangle equals half the base multiplied by the altitude. We can see that the ABD and the ABC triangles are both part of the ABC triangle, that means they both must have the same altitude AH. We have chosen D so that BD equals DC. That means that the area of the triangle ABD equals and the area of the triangle ABC equals they are equal. Let's see what happens when we draw all three medians. If we draw all three medians, they all meet at one point. We call this point the centroid. The centroid is really interesting. It is the center of gravity of the triangle. What is more, it cuts each median in two segments and the longer is twice the shorter. That means... And... Let's do an activity. We give three or four different paper triangles we have prepared earlier to the students. Not all students get the same triangle. We ask them to label the vertices A, B, C and then start by finding the midpoint of segment B, C by folding along the side so that B collides with C. Then we ask them to unfold and mark the midpoint of segment B, C as D. A, D is the median. We ask them to crease the median A, D. The same job continues with all sides of the triangles so that all medians are named and creased. Students can now notice that all the medians intersect at a point. Let's call the point M. The point M is the centroid. Now we have the students use the triangles and balance them on the point of a pencil using the centroid. That way they can understand the centroid is the center of gravity of a triangle. What is more, we can have them measure the two segments the centroid separates the medians and notice the longer is always twice the shorter. Let's do an exercise based on our findings. If BD is 6 cm, then DC is. If AF is 7 cm, then AC is. If MF is 3 cm, then BM is. If CM is 10 cm, then ME is. If AD is 12 cm, then AM is. And MD is. Answers. AD is the median of the triangle starting from the vertex A to the midpoint D of the opposite side BC. That means DC equals BD equals 6 cm. BF is the median of the triangle starting from the vertex B to the midpoint F of the opposite side AC. That means AC equals 2 AF equals 14 cm. MF is the shorter segment of the two that the centroid M divides the median BF. That means BM equals 2 MF equals 6 cm. CM is the longer segment of the two, the centroid M divides the median CE. That means that... Or... 
AD is a median, AD equals AM plus MD, but AM equals 2 MD. That means that or then 